Candela, a World Cup winner with France in 98. Caught by Thomas. Kevin Nolan providing an aerial threat on the edge of the penalty area right up alongside Kevin Davis. Davis with the header on, claims of a handball there. And it's been given by the referee, Alan Wiley says, handball in the heart of the penalty area. Well, Charlton look a little bit nonplussed as much as angry about that decision. Look at Horidison on the edge of the six-yard box. And I think it did strike his arm. It's a cotcher against Kylie. And it's 1-0. An early gift for Bolton Wanderers, a decisive intervention from the referee and a calm, cool finish from JJ Okocha. Sam Allardyce, he'll have enjoyed what he's seen so far. Askelainen having difficulty. Brian Hughes in towards Horidison, looking to make amends. And now Danny Murphy. Scored last week, oh, and he nearly scored once more. Charlton nearly with a very quick response. A hopeful up and under there from Perry. May have the desired effect, though. Top Danny Murphy with the shot. Stopped by Jaskalainen and cleared by Bruno and Gotti. Pass from Kevin Davis. The better one might have put uh, Yanakopoulos away. Here's Koncheski looking for Romadal. Oh, and Jaskalainen, did he handle the ball outside the penalty area there? That's going to be a close call. Jaskalainen clearly had the ball in his hands and looked as though he fell outside the penalty area. Decision goes against Jaskalainen there when Jeffers had come across and made the challenge on him. Jaskalainen falling outside the penalty area, but the referee giving the kick to Charlton Athletic. Murphy's kick. Jeffers takes a deflection and they have scored. It's not a classic goal, but they all count even via a deflection. It was Jeffers who drilled it in. And it goes in off two players, including, finally, I think, Fernando Hierro, who was standing near the line. Perry up against Davis. Okay. Now Stelios looking for Candela. Good play. Chance for Kevin Davis. The block made by Jonathan Fortune. Bolton claimed that was another handball. Not given by the referee. Candela played the ball in, shot was drilled in, and that clearly looked like a handball. Charlton complained about the first penalty, they couldn't have complained had they conceded a penalty there. First half, a tail of three handballs. Now Nolan was carrying on, but the whistle had gone long ago. Fortune's kick, Horidison up. Away by Hunt. JJ Okocha. Looking for El Hajja, full of uh, vim and vigour, having just come on the field of play. Good play too by uh, Stelios, Janakopoulos. Needs a decent ball here towards Gary Speed. Oh, Juff could be in! And he is! El Hajja marks his return. He's barely been on the field for a couple of minutes with a goal that puts Bolton Wanderers back in front. Well, we thought he'd liven things up, and he's certainly done that. Good play by Stelios Janakopoulos, the header back in from speed. And in the end, it was an unorthodox goal, really, but it was enough to beat Dean Kiley. Juff scores with a header four minutes after coming on. Bit 
Another mistake at the back here, could allow Kevin Nolan in, good save. Chesky there losing possession as well. This is Gary Speed. Now El Hajjuf. Hierro. Oh, Hierro with a good shot. Dean Kiley saving. Charlton's blushes though. With a good save. El Hajjuf unable to stay on his feet. Nolan unable to finish, and then the arrow not far away with a decent shot. Now Romadal's come into the game a little bit more in the last 10 minutes or so. Good running into space by Matt Holland. He was looking for the goal poacher Jeffers. Charlton settle for another corner. Found it hard to create clear cut goal scoring opportunities today. Too far for Horaidison. Riero merely heads it straight to Danny Murphy again, who gets a second opportunity. Oh, and a save by Jaskalainen from Herman Horaidison. Frustrating afternoon so far for Alan Kerbishley and Mervyn Day. Charlton aren't finished yet. Ben Haim gets a deflection and Hunt clears. Only as far as Dennis Romadal. In towards Johansson! Charlton very close to a late, late equaliser for the second home match running. Any complaints about the decision given against Herman Horidison? There was at the time because um, I couldn't see no danger, so I, I wondered why a handball had been given. Uh, but I've seen the replays and it's come off of Chrissy Perry and popped up as he put his arm towards it or as it hit his arm. But the refs give it. Today we, we just did our job today and got uh, three points today. And I think which even uh, give us now a better position than we were before the game. And uh, we're very happy that the results have gone to our favour. We now have got five games left and we've got to turn it around and pick some points up because we know the criticism. We have it every year and it looks like we're going to have it again. One win in nine for Charlton, you had your best season last year for 45 years. Looks like you're going to top it again. What is the key factor, do you feel, in how well your team has performed this season, Sam? I think the key factor has been since we had this horrendous run in December where we lost six on the trot, that we, we turned everything around by going back to the basics and getting back to clean sheets and, uh, and, and sticking to what we know works. And, uh, and then in the end, uh, El Adjadjou started scoring some goals, Stalios started some, scoring some goals and we started sharing the goals around and we won uh, nine of the last 13 and seven of those have won one nil and uh, really knows how important those clean sheets are. They get you right, right up the table and, and the rest of the team knows that if we score one goal we're more than likely now to go and win the game. Do you have to have some tough hearts to heart with uh, El Hadjouf because he's let you down on occasion I'm thinking when he got sent off in the FA Cup, but then when he plays to the best of his potential, he's, he's terrific. How do you deal with the two sides of that, Sam? Well, I think that uh, in the end it's very frustrating. Um, and I think uh, we think back to the six games he's missed by a suspension now, through two sendings off, and what might have been, what extra might we have got, certainly in the Cup against Arsenal particularly, uh, but the, uh, you know, the other league games that we missed him from, we're doing unbelievable now, but we might have been doing even better if we'd have had him longer, you know. But uh, in the end, we have to live with it if we're going to take him on. I don't think that I can change him. I think on the Alledge is going to be allowed to change himself, and if we're going to take him on, it'll be a gamble because it might just flare up. But, uh, but when he plays like this... Well, he saw his commitment there. I mean, he's closing the defender, but, but this is the, the, the thing we like about him the most, the, the real outstanding skill. But this one, he'd only just come on a sub and turn the game for us because he's, he's played that ball to Stalios and he's followed his running, as you say, a great header from Gary Speed. And he comes drifting in on the, the backside of defenders now. I tell you, that is a really, really difficult header. That's a great goal. Uh, still on loan, any decision taken yet about how you'll proceed with that? Well, I think it's a big decision for us and I think we said we'd take that at the end of the season, speaking to the chairman and the rest of the board and, uh, you know, see how we're going from there. He certainly doesn't sort of make himself many friends sometimes with the way he behaves, but then sort of, are you you're just going to have to live with it, do you feel? 
Uh, I think we are. You know, I think that, uh, like I said, I think that uh, the, the, the way that the lad has been brought up in his life and he's come from Senegal and he's got an, an awful lot as a young man, but he's so flamboyant, it's, it's difficult to knock back, like, you know, and uh, it appears that sometimes trouble seems to follow him around. Whether he can get out of that with a bit more maturity, we'll have to wait and see. Let's clear up some of the other incidents. Uh, what was your view on the, the sort of just the things that sort of shaped the game, Peter Reid? Well, this is the penalty, and um, there's a there's a handball in there. I think it's a clear penalty. Um, you know, ball's bounced up, but there's certainly movement of the hand towards the ball. So I think the referee had no alternative. Great the way he took the penalty. Now, what do you make of this incident? I thought, I thought the, I'm not, um, not saying these because Sam sat next to me, but uh, I thought the kid was a little bit unlucky here because I think Franny just gave him a nudge in the back. But I tell you what, I tell you, the Bolton manager won't be happy with this. <laughs> the, uh, they've standing. lacked, lacked. Did you have words here? Sam? Lacked concentration and let Jeffers. Jeff is very clever. Spins out away from them, and to be fair, Danny Murphy's picked them out brilliantly. And he's finished it with a couple of deflections. Well, there's too many lads stood there doing nothing and not moving when the, when the Charlton players started moving and then we got caught out. But you have to give Franny Jeffers some credit for the little spin run and you also have to give Danny Murphy a lot of credit for the ball they played into him. He saw it, he played it and they had a little bit of luck, a couple of deflections and that, and that was 1-1. But at that time, Charlton deserved that goal. And you'll enjoy looking at the top half of the table and seeing that Bolton uh, are now a win on Tuesday night and uh, Champions League place, isn't it? Well, uh, Everton don't play till the day after and then enter the game this weekend, so it's a nice little incentive for us to go, go and do it against Southampton on Tuesday if we can. That would be fantastic for us. Uh, you know, three wins on the trot again in the Premiership is pretty difficult for anybody, and if we can do that, we'll be right in amongst it. So is that when Harry meets Sammy on uh, <laughs> next week? <laughs> <is it? laughs>